Phil and I treat rich, famous, beautiful people. Phil Stutz and Barry Michaels are therapists with an unusual practice. And they're all incredibly insecure. Thank God. It keeps us in business. <laughs> Their patients are some of the most creative and commercially successful artists in America. From everything I've read, it sounds like you look out into the audience in the Kodak Theater and the Academy Awards, and those are Phil and Barry's patients. Yeah, well, I mean, that's a slight exaggeration. I mean, you can't have that many patients. I've had patients of mine who were chased by paparazzi to my office. Actors, writers, producers, agents. Hollywood heavyweights beating a path to the red carpet in this shabby apartment building. If this is your waiting room, it's not exactly the most <laughs> private place. No, it's not. Where Stutz, a former prison psychiatrist at Rikers Island, has practiced for 30 years since he first came to L.A. One guy threatened to buy the whole building and have me evicted. He was so offended by it. Their approach is not so much therapy in the old-fashioned Dr. Freud sense. It's been a long odyssey with your mother, hasn't it? All these last 500 years just seem to race by. Tony Soprano talking it out. No, Stutz and Michaels fast forward to the present moment. They've developed a variety of psychological tools illustrated by stick figure drawings to help their patients unlock their creativity and conquer their inner demons. Traditional therapy stops with an analysis of the past. And I think to both of us, that kind of misses the potential of therapy. Let's also solve your problem. And that's what the tools do. Now, for the first time, they're sharing the tools with the general public in a new book that's almost certain to become a bestseller. And there's an app, Therapy, you can carry in the palm of your hand. Hello? Hey, man, it's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Actor John Cusack has been working with Phil Stutz for years. Why are you in New Orleans anyway, by the way? Doing a film. He allowed Nightline to listen in as they chatted from the set of his latest movie. I'm doing this flick. And I got a lot of distractions. You know, I have a, a lot of other responsibilities besides just the acting. How do you get in contact with that shadow? The shadow, an archetype first identified by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung, comes up a lot in their work. The shadow is the darkest part of yourself, the part you most want to hide from others. Confronting the shadow is a common theme in movies. Think Colonel Kurtz in Apocalypse Now. Or Luke Skywalker confronting his shadow in the Star Wars movie. For John Cusack, the shadow played a huge part in being John Malkovich, in which he played a down-on-his-luck puppeteer who literally gets inside the head of a famous Hollywood star. That was a very, very shadowy character, for sure. I just sort of immersed myself in the shadow and I just tried to feel all of his pain, all of his shame, all the things that he wanted to avoid. These guys tend not to prescribe antidepressants, in part because their artistic patients need their shadows. In a way, you don't want to mess with the particular neuroses that also lead to great movies. Yeah, um, everybody asks that at first. You know, if I use the tools, will I lose my chops? Will I, will I lose my talent? The answer is no. One of the tools described in the book is called the reversal of desire. The reversal of desire teaches you to desire pain. Now, I know that sounds really strange and masochistic, but we're not talking about desiring pain for its own sake. The reversal of desire is a mastery of pain. See the pain appear in front of you as a cloud. Scream silently at the cloud, bring it on. Scream silently, I love pain. And then as you move into the cloud, pain sets me free. Really? Yes. Yeah, really. They asked me to share a personal problem I'm grappling with. I'm bad about scheduling vacations, and it's destructive in terms of my family. Is it hard for you to stop working? You're scared that when you go away, something big's going to happen, and you're going to miss it. OK. Close your eyes for a second, and just imagine somehow you take a vacation, and on the second day, something huge happens. You miss it totally. They tell me to picture myself moving forward, screaming silently. Bring it on. You're screaming that and you're moving towards that cloud of pain. Even though I feel a bit self-conscious, I give it an honest shot. I did picture myself moving through it, and I felt a little nervous on the other side. So you got a little nervous at the first intimation of freedom? Yeah. 
In Hollywood, phrases like the shadow and the reversal of desire are almost code words for members of an elite secret society. Phil and Barry's patience. Over the years, I, yeah, I've met a lot of artists and I, and I start talking to them and I go, you must talk to Barry Michaels or Phil Stutz, don't you? And, uh, and they say yes. Tools now available to the rest of us at a fraction of the price. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Hollywood.